What's going on? Detroit Pistons defeat Boston Celtics 113 to 104. Um, Andre Drummond did exactly what he was supposed to do tonight. He had 19 and 20, he dominated the paint, um, defended the rim a little bit, picked up some early fouls, turned it on in the second half. Um, Blake Griffin had 27, uh, six assists, eight rebounds, shooting 50% from three and from the uh, floor. Uh, Reggie Jackson had his usual night, 12, four, and two. Um, Lou Kennard was only had 10 points, but he did miss a shot, did miss a free throw. Reggie Bullock had 15 coming off an injury. Lewis Galloway, or whatever his name is, gave a good book, got the best effort off the bench with 14 points. Um, Kyrie Irving had a Kyrie Irving type of night, 26, four assists, eight rebounds. Marcus Smart had a good night as well, 21, three and eight. And uh, Jason Tatum had, you know, 17, two assists and eight rebounds. Now, I think this was more about, um, you know, Drummond and Griffin dominating the paint and taking it to the Celtics. Um, like I said, the Celtics just got too much talent, and that's what's going on. It's a talent, it's a talent log jam over there, and can't none of them dudes that play guard or on the wing get in, get in the rhythm because they on the pitch count basically. You know what I'm saying? But Kyrie came out for blood, and can't none of they they wing guys really get in the rhythm. Too many guys over in the same, play the same position, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you know, Drummond did what he did with Al Horford out. He that's what he was supposed to do with Al Horford there. Al Horford, a little dude, man, compared to Drummond. And Drummond needs to own the paint and the man the paint, and he need to do this on a consistent basis. Basis. And dominate the paint. Exactly what I said in the preview earlier this morning is exactly what he did. And that's dominate the paint. Blake Griffin was even taking cats on the block. They had nobody that could guard Blake Griffin. They had nobody that keep Dre off the glass. This is one of those uh, games where the Pistons matched up perfectly, you know, with the Celtics, okay? They own the paint. They own the glass for the most part. And they got enough shooting from the outside to, you know, deter the Celtics away. You know, I think it was more about the Pistons being determined not being the same old Pistons and coming out with a win and snapping that seven or eight game losing streak. And that's exactly what it was, man. When Reggie Jackson, you know, he might not have the biggest stats, but he's playing under control. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm liking from Reggie. Um, Stanley's still not giving much. He coming off an injury. I'm just tired of him, to be honest. But, you know, Andre Drummond, two good games this week. Um, you just need to be consistent. That's it, man. You know, and, and become the rim defender Detroit need. If he can defend the rim and become consistent with his, with his effort and his motor, well, he worth every dollar, but if it ain't go, if he ain't gonna be consistent and his motor ain't gonna be consistent too, it just it doesn't matter. It still don't matter. One good game is is not gonna be the trend. It's just gonna be the blip. His blips needs to start being trends with his motor and the consistency on the on the basketball court. But Blake Griffin is the most consistent piston. You are gonna get what you are gonna get from Blake. That's a superstar effort every night, and you are gonna get some gaudy stats every night. And um, Boston Celtics just proved with all them swing men, they had no answer for Dre. Marcus Smart too small. Marcus Morris didn't want none. Um, you know, you can name him. Tatum can't handle him. He too, he too light in the ass. Um, you know, Al Horford, he can't, even if he out there, he can't deal with him. Theus couldn't deal with him. Jalen Brown couldn't deal with him. So he a matchup nightmare for the Boston Celtics, man. And uh, Andre Drummond without Al Horford out there is a matchup nightmare. The young boy, the rookie they had, whatever his name is, he couldn't deal with him neither. And uh, Theus, he hit a couple jump shots. But Dre, you know, after he got the foul trouble off of him, he just dominated you know, and I'm glad they snapped that losing streak, man. That's that's what we need in Detroit, man. We didn't we didn't need no more losers, man. That was a horrible, ugly losing streak, man. They should never lose to the Bob, the Bobcat or the Charlotte Hornets, man. They should have beat the Charlotte Hornets twice. You know what I'm saying? Games like that could be the difference between you getting in the playoffs and you not getting in at all. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it is what it is, man. It was a great effort by the team, man. Uh, we still behind the Pistons 100%. And you're going to have ups and downs like road out row. Um in the NBA, man. That's just what the NBA is about. It's about wins and losses, you know. And, um, you know, we got to just keep winning more than we taking the L's. And that's just typically how it go, man. But great night by the guys. You know, uh, celebrate it tonight. Get ready for the next uh, victory. I'm not sure who they play next, to be exact. Um, but um, they play the Milwaukee Bucks on Monday, I believe it is. So play Milwaukee Bucks on Monday. So, uh, get ready for the Milwaukee Bucks on Monday. Yep, and, um, yep, I think they are coming here. So, that's good looking. But, uh, Motor Street Sports Talk, make sure you check us out on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. Want to make a donation to the channel, that link's in the description. All those links there, you can reach out to me in the email. Intro Instrumental is also in the description. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Let me know what y'all thought about the Pistons' performance. Once again, they beat the Boston Celtics 114-104, 113-104, excuse me. Um, yeah, one thirty three, one four. March East Sports Talk. We gone.